I have not been asleep and I just want to leave you this short message. Three things. I feel like I'm still in Sunday because like I said, I haven't been asleep and I know it's after midnight, but I still feel like it's the same day. Three things happened to me. This is a, just a testimony of if I don't wake up, if I pass away in my sleep, this is a testimony of God's goodness. Three things happen. One, I want to share that it's personal. It's between me and God. I was thinking about my children. And I had a thought in mind that it would be something that I would like to do is to be able to leave money, envelopes of money or some type of containers of money, different places for my children that they have no idea are there. And if I'm not around and they call me and they need help or they need money, I could tell them where to go in their house or somewhere nearby or to somewhere that belongs to them where they could find money in an emergency. That warmed my heart to just think of different places. I was in my mind and in my heart, I was thinking of different places I could put money and how beautiful it would be. And God brought me to tears because he said, that's what I do for you. Let that resonate with you. God said to me, in my spirit, there's a scripture that says, if we being evil know how to give good gifts to our children, our gifts to our children, how much more does the Heavenly Father know how to give us? Something to that effect, paraphrasing. And I thought about how the Lord knows our every need, our every desire. He knows all the things that's going to happen in our lifetimes. And he says, if we love him, that all things will work for good to them that love the Lord. And it does not matter what the enemy will set out to do in your life. He will use the enemy to bless you. And he will hide you from the enemy. And when the enemy thinks that they're doing you harm, and even if you suffer, the enemy is doing the most harm and the greatest harm to himself because he has to answer. You reap what you sow. So if anyone is out there thinking about causing harm to someone else for whatever profit or whatever gain, you're hurting yourself. You're only going to hurt yourself. You might hurt somebody temporarily. But like I said, if they love God, God will use that. To bless them. All things will work to the good of those that love the Lord. But that beautiful thought made me tear up and cry in silence. I thought about God, how he's only going to allow me to access certain things that he has for me in my life. When I get to that point, when I reach the point where I need it the most. How beautiful is that? So you have to step out on faith. You have to get there. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it before you get there. The second thing that happened is I am a witness. I am a witness that God will bless your house. I, I fasted and I prayed for this house and I don't look, I know there are a lot of people that might have better houses and things like that, but I am grateful because this is what I desired. Not saying that one day maybe I won't have better or bigger or whatever, but right now, this is what I desire. This is what I fasted and I prayed for and God is using it as a house of healing. There have been things in the last couple of years that have blessed people and I was a witness today and how God brought two 
sisters together after you know in life things don't always happen beautifully sometimes tragedy and bad things happen but love will prevail when you truly love someone love will prevail and i was a witness to that and in this house god brought healing he brought a beautiful he brought a beautiful situation in my life uh, to pass today and uh, I'm just grateful at the power of God and the third thing is I was watching the Oscars and Will Smith not his tears I know he's an actor but I felt his sincerity I watched him be very careful and I respect Denzel Washington greatly and I saw him make mention of Denzel Washington and Denzel Washington is to me I respect him so much not so much because of his acting even though he's a great fabulous actor but I know he was the son of a preacher I believe and he to me is gifted and um I've never heard anything negative about him and his wife. They are sticking together through thick and thin. I just respect him so much for that. And I just feel like he's a man of God. He's a man of God. But he, Will Smith made mention of him and said, be careful at your, your highest. That's when the devil will come for you. And so I'm not seeking. I know I have not reached my highest. And I thank God for the new subscribers that I have. I want to just leave you this message. I'm not out here on Facebook or YouTube <laughs> to be famous, to be monetized and all these things. I'm just, I ask God to, Lord, what is it that you want from me last year? And that's why I started this particular channel. But I have a couple of other channels. I hope to get back to doing interviews of people who inspire me on my Kung Fu Fighter channel. So I just want to make mention that that was such a beautiful thing that Will Smith says that God is calling him to love people. After all that he's done and achieved and been through in his life, and he made mention how in the positions that he's in, people will talk about you sometime and you have to smile and act like everything is okay and all the things that go with those positions. But anyway, I'm so grateful. I, I just wanted to share with you the goodness of God and how he loves us, his children, how he loves us and how he is a way maker and nothing is impossible with him and love will prevail love will prevail no matter how bad things get and where the road leads god is love and he will prevail god bless you